we were to Ascot. Whoa! Okay. Yeah! Oh, like, too good not to wear on your head. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Where, where are we off to now? We're going to Milan. We're about to embark on a two-week fashion road trip, actually. It's going to be forever. We're going to be doing days and nights, 24-7 fashion. What are you most excited for? What shows are you thinking, yep, yeah, I'm uh, excited for this, I'm oh excited. God, I love them all. I, everyone's got their own charm. It's like saying, who's your favourite child? Oh, okay. I cannot choose. No favouritism here. No favouritism here. Sorry we're late, Claudia. Do you know why we're late? Because basically we had to detour to find the nearest toilet. We, there were no services. I was literally going to wet myself in the car. We looked at the watch clock and it said 20 minutes till I had to go. It's fine. I just couldn't. So we had to detour seven minutes off track some weird BP station. It was clean. It was good. Oh, thank that is... for that. Like, that's what we call... <laughs> Shame that. on you. Claudia, <laughs> Claudia was waiting here. In the business, Sorry. that's what's known as a tinkle emergency. Yes. It's a tinkle emer It was really was as well. Mm -hmm. I was doing the whole tinkle dance in the uh -huh. back of the car. <laughs> so Claudia, okay. you've just landed. Landed. Just landed. It's a bit downbeat though. Very downbeat. Why is that? Oh, it's a Gucci shirt. Oh. I just looked at it um, on Instagram. It's amazing. We really missed out on that one. But we had someone there covering it for us, but we didn't. I know that we is. Didn't see it with our very own eyes. That is a shame. Okay, where are we right now? <laughs> Do you know why I'm dancing? Why? Because that is luxury. That's luxury house back there. Oh yeah. Brunello Cuccinelli is a luxury. Yeah. We're going to experience it. It's an experience. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle choice. Putty, putty, buttery leather. You can make. I can make bread You can make pancakes. I can make pancakes. You can make focaccia. No. 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 Claudia, where are we going? I'll give you a clue. Fundy, 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 fundy. Right, we're going. They've cordoned off the roads. It's all very. I haven't really, I'm just creating drama. Hey, Olivia's coming to beat me over the head now because we missed the show we're missing the show but we're not the only ones you're not the only one i mean literally live you really sad i was devastated Okay, Moschino time, guys. We hope it's cakes everywhere. We hope there are cakes everywhere, like the invitation. So we didn't have time for a little catch up uh, yesterday. Yeah. So what? How were the shows yesterday? So let's talk about Max Mara was first. 
Max Mara was an exercise in how to make pieces that you will always keep in your wardrobe. Yeah. Like the perfect camel coat, the perfect pair of trousers. It has a sort of understated luxury that it's just, it's DNA. And when a brand does that well, you just love it. It's brilliant. What about the Broga? Do I have one that? The Brogano show? Brognano. So, Brognano is a, he is a designer that everyone seems to be talking about in Milan. He's very good looking. <laughs> <laughs> He's in one of the top 10 handsome designer brackets. He's right up there. He's, he's hot, basically. <laughs> but in terms of his his uh, his own label, it was like beautifully, it was like a sort of beautiful riff on 90s dressing. Uh, there were lots of kind of layered slip dresses, all sort of beautifully done. He understands luxury, all these wonderful fabrics. Um, with things, a twist With well. a twist, yeah. yeah. There's always a twist. Um, there's an elegance. There's a femininity. So what about the Prada show was next? <gasps> Prada, Prada, Prada. <laughs> it's our highlight. It's our highlight of Milan Fashion Week. We call the actual day Prada Day. <laughs> That's the name of the day, Prada Day. There's lots of other shows on that day, but it's Prada Day. Mm. But it was this beautiful set that was used for menswear. So we were all in like a coliseum looking down as the girls came in and out of rooms. It was a bit David Lynch. It was a bit abstract, arty, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it never fails to inspire and transport you. I think she's just the genius of that conversation. She's not afraid. I like the fact that she's so fearless. I like the fact she's not, you know, she pushes the envelope. What about Moschino? Was the last one of yesterday? What was yeah, both Claudia, of you? I mean, well, what, what a one to end it on. Yeah. Like, so Moschino always brings a theme. There's always fantasy, theater yeah. and fantasy. Yeah. Like it's and it, but it's but it's the detail. Yeah. yeah. It's the sort of the level of detail that they go to yeah. and the kind of wit in which yeah. they play with the theme mm. that, that really really makes it. That was almost a of Franco Moschino in his day and it's absolutely what Jeremy Scott does. Really he has been me. one of the most successful. Sometimes when a house puts a designer in, you, you sort of feel like it's a bit of a weird why. With him, you just absolutely understand that he's taken the baton and actually evolved it beyond what Franco did. You know, Franco always had this element of wit and irony and surrealism. surrealism and I think he's done it and even when you get the invitation you get the invitation we've got this fake tiered ornate baby pink cake with all this white icing and you thought oh my god they're gonna be dressed as cakes and sure enough they were dressed as cakes mm. it was freaking genius